Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create your own scrap photo book. And here I have a yearbook that I created for my kids for 2015 and 2016. And it has everything divided into sections. And so I'm going to show you how you easily can make something like this very simple with materials that you can easily get. So you need a binder, a three ring binder. Um, and this one brings a little pocket in the front and pocket in the back. So what I did was that I got some scrap paper, some beautiful scrap paper from Michael's Arts and Crafts store. I also got some of these stickers that you see here. Um, I got, these are all stickers that I got. Um, and these are letter stickers and number stickers that I also got at Michael's Arts and Crafts store. So as you can see, this is the front cover. It shows my three girls. So to decorate the front, I basically just took the scrap paper that I got at Michael's Arts and Crafts store and just slid it in here into this pocket that the binder brings. And also in the back, I slid in some of the scrap paper and also right here in the middle, it has a little pocket right in there, just stick it in there. And I just decorated the front with some stickers and some pictures of my kids. And it says yearbook 2015, 2016. So for this project, you're going some, to some, um, paper some stock paper different color stock paper and you can get them in michael's for um i believe it brings 50 a pack for 4.99 um and i also got this um paper sheets that comes different colors different designs i love these and that makes everything a lot more colorful and you're also going to need lots of stickers so i got these um little label little labels for the pictures I got um, school stickers, they're almost all gone already. Um, I also got these stickers for teachers. And I got this Project Life pack also that brings lots of little stickers and lots of little things that you can put into your um, scrapbook. So let me show you guys inside now. Um, so this is the beginning. So it shows the, my girls at the beginning of the year. So I do homeschooling. So you're gonna see my girls here at home doing a lot of activities. Um, but if you have kids that go to school, you can also take their pictures, their first day of school pictures. Lovely, wonderful memory. So here we have my girls. Um, here we have a picture of their um, homeschool room. Here's them. Here's pictures of some of the activities that they did for shelf work. And I have made some videos of this that if you guys want to see. Um, all the activities um, here are things that they've done throughout the year. And so, as you can see, I have some of the uh, scrap paper, the colored scrap paper, and also have the stock paper as well. And I try to fit two or three pictures per page. I try to go for three if possible. And as you can see, I decorate the stickers with stickers as well. And I love the different colors that I have. It makes the pictures pop out. And here are the different things that they've done, sensory bins. Um, a lot of different activities that they do throughout the year, painting, sorting, all different types of things that they do. This is some geography activities. Here's building a, t a cup tower, coin sorting, animal sorting. So I, I try to fit three if I can. I also have scissors. I forgot to bring those scissors out, but they are decorative scissors that you can cut pictures out. Um, and it leaves a little design so that you can put them in. So, so if you want to fit three pictures, you can do that as well in this manner. Here's some sensory play that they've done as well with rice and with water. Here are some art projects that I couldn't save because they're so huge. So I just took pictures of them. That was for St. Patrick's. Here is um, a co-op that they went to. Here is coloring with grandma. Here are some other things that they couldn't save. So these are spring kites, I couldn't save those. They're so huge. Here's dinosaur sensory bin. I think you guys saw that in a video. Some cards they made for me. This is um, Easter surprise eggs. So it details everything throughout the year, different things. I set up this shelf many different ways throughout the year, so I take pictures of it. This was when the baby was born, so this is like the baby section. I showed my baby how I set up a little um, area for her, her little learning area. I made a video of her little learning area, 
and it has her infant stimulation images on the wall and her sensory boards I also made a mobile out of a <laughs> scarf and she was in love with it always touching it and looking at the different colors here's her looking in the mirror so I show her doing her thing too as well she I showed how she crawled at five months showing the little stickers see as you can see I have those little stickers that I um, those little labels that you can just stick on and write things on um, you can decorate the small little things so it comes with this project life um, pack all these little stickers that you see here comes with the project life stickers and you just glue them on I use Elmer's glue by the way just to glue them on to glue the pictures on as well um, here is a section that I created this is playtime so all their play activities so how they play throughout the year I took pictures of them playing this is, they love playing with that this year this is a little farm that they created them playing outside um, this is the church play group so as you can see the little stickers that I can put here playing with Legos <clears throat> playing with dolls game night every Friday so they have um, all pictures of all the games that we had and them playing with their dad there these are the little huts that they built um, I take pictures of the little clubhouses that they built this is playing with grandma making um, dolls making hand dolls with grandma um, bead necklaces they made this year playing with their animal habitats pictures of all the stuff that they do throughout the year playing these kids spend so much probably 90% of their day playing so there's lots of pictures of them playing here's them dressing up their ponies playing with ponies ponies was a huge one this year they made a little ship uh, out of a cardboard box it's different play activities this is playing with play-doh playing outside so playing with poly pockets building their own doll houses and it is really endless guys there's playing here playing with my um, bins in my living room having a tea party with grandma and as you can see these little labels are awesome and I write little different things we made soup every Tuesday with with mom so Here's them making soup with me every Tuesday. They love that. Here's my tour organization system. I took a picture because I want to remember that when they get older. I want to remember how I, how I wrote, uh, rotated their toys and organized them. Okay, and then here's the extracurricular activities that they did throughout the year. So they did three things. They did swimming, dancing, and gymnastics. That's the, my oldest there. Them doing their gymnastics pictures of other classes ballet this is um, nature walks every Wednesday so I took pictures of our, of our nature walks on Wednesdays beautiful sceneries beautiful pictures of them playing outside um, going out in nature every Wednesday we went to the forest collecting nature objects for their nature table um, that's them exploring the forest. Here we see some swan. So many beautiful, beautiful pictures. Here is fall. So I have a whole section on fall. And um, this is our fall shelf. I always make seasonal shelves and I put different activities for them on there. So this whole section is on fall. And you'll see them with the leaves, cleaning up the leaves with daddy, collecting acorns. Um, my fall decor in my living room, went to the farm, went through to collect, uh, to get some pumpkins, here's them with family, here's the Halloween costumes, I was a zebra and they were owl, what was it, owl, peacock, and a pumpkin, that's what they were. here's the fall craft, so pumpkin painting and making turkeys every season, here is uh, Christmas, so this is the section for Christmas. Here is our Christmas felt tree that we made. That's them there with baby. Here is December 25th, and that's what we had. What we did for December 25th, we had our gifts on top of the table, and we wrapped them with some um, cloth napkins. And here's the baby's gift, <laughs> so small. And then we read the nativity story. We do that every year. It's like a little tradition of ours. Here is decorating gingerbread cookies so fun um, this is making Christmas cards for veterans 
Oh, this is our so Sonia, the elf on the shelf. Oh my God, we had so much fun with Sonia this year, hiding her and everything. This is at grandma's house Christmas morning. Um, the elf on the shelf. Yeah, that's hilarious. Uh, this is playing with snow. Fun times and these are fun places that they went through. These are the, again the same um, Project Life uh, stickers. And these are the different places that they went this year, like museums and um, different places that they went to. This is Easter, Easter Bunny, Grandpa, Grandma, the zoo visits, fun times is at the beach. This is at the beach, at the lake, different places that we went to. And that is it, guys. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys liked this album. Um, it is a wonderful memory for kids. It's a wonderful way to, to journal throughout the year um, and then have one book per year. I plan on making it smaller next year, hopefully. Um, but this is such a wonderful way to keep all of your family's memories. When my kids open this, they're going to be able to see everything that they did that year. And it's going to bring back beautiful memories. My family members love looking through this, looking and seeing everything that my kids did throughout the year and that we did. And it's such a fun way to, to keep your memories. Um, as you can see, it is very simple to make. This binder is like $3, or actually you can get it at the dollar store. The laminate sheet protectors, I'm going to put a link in the description box where you can get them in bulk very cheaply. Um, but you can also get them in Office Depot and Office Max. It just tends to be more expensive. Um, and again, you need the stock paper. I got this type of paper as well to make things pop up. Um, the stickers, lots of stickers. You're going to need a lot of stickers. Um, and the labels, um, these little labels that they sell at, at Michael's Arts and Crafts Store. They're wonderful because you can just say anything you want about pictures and everything like that. Um, so I hope you like this um, scrapbook um, of my kids and of our year. Um, for more videos like this, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.